In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand means when something's inelastic, it's the demand curve is more up and down like the eye of inelastic something to remember. When it's more elastic, the demand curve is kind of flat. It looks like one of the branches of the E for elastic. The old supply demand curves, we still have the market price, but prices change depending on the elasticity of demand. Let me show you. If, what I mean by that is demand is less elastic. It's more rigid. There's less choices for consumers to make. And we say the demand is stiff. You can't really make a lot of choices when demand is inelastic. So let's say that supply decreases. What we see is in a normal situation, the price would rise to that level, the blue dotted line. But if demand is inelastic, what we see is that the prices rise a lot more. That means that people are not able to substitute out and utilize other products. The same is true of supply increases and the prices. They fall a lot more significant when demand is elastic as well. So the more inelastic, small changes in supply impact impact price a lot. The more inelastic, the more price change. Some examples of inelastic goods are gasoline, cigarettes, and water. Elasticity, the less elastic, the less flexible. That means consumers are not flexible and can change. No good substitutes, lack of choices, lack of options. Same is true with gasoline. You have to buy gasoline. The same is true with ta uh, taxes on cigarettes. Now, we also can talk about how drug addiction impacts demand as well. Drug addicts have a very inelastic demand curve. In fact, we would say their um, demand curve is very inelastic. That means they're addicted and they have no choice but to take the drugs. The more addicted, the more inelastic causes them to to, uh, to exhibit irrational behaviors. They gamble, drugs and alcohol. They're more addicted, more inelastic, no choice, no options. Sometimes it's uh, this addiction can only be in your mind, but the lack of choice often exists in a person's mind. Still very real. Well, let's talk about the... Um, inelastic and demand curve on taxes. Now I've drawn, drawn this curve, looks a little nasty, but you see the price, you see a tax, and you see a price plus tax. Now if demand is inelastic, what we see is the tax has no impact at all whatsoever. Now that's a lot different than what we saw if demand is the normal demand curve. The tax, basically, the quantity supplied with the tax is zero. But as demand, if demand is inelastic, like on gasoline, then it has no impact. Taxes are similar to nature on prices as like drug addicts and drug dealers. Drug dealers can charge any price they want to someone who's addicted. No doubt governments like to tax. Inelastic goods, such as gasoline, cigarettes, and gambling.